Hillary, why is copying becoming more and more popular among athletes? Well, uh, most likely it's because the um, acupuncture in general in Chinese medicine, I think, is much more widely accepted um, and promoted than it used to be. You know, the World Health Organization has always said that there's many, many ailments that are, you know, helped with acupuncture, Chinese medicine, and, of course, cupping. Um, and in the States, I think there was, a, you know, a little more hesitation, whereas in China, everyone knows about it. Everybody, you know, has the option of going to the hospital and having acupuncture or having cupping or having, you know, herbs and so forth or having Western medicine. And it's just not as widespread over here. People don't know as much about it. It's not mysterious or mystical. It's just we don't, it's not necessarily part of our culture. We didn't grow up with it. We haven't seen it done as much and so forth. Um, luckily, this past year, um, in the last year and a half, it's been passed that acupuncture is um, accepted and treated. Medicare will pay for low back pain to be treated by acupuncture, which is a huge stride forward for our profession, my profession as an acupuncturist. Um, so what we're seeing is that more people are aware of the benefits. It's much more mainstream. And, you know, athletes are always looking for something natural, you know, that is allowed, um, you know, to push their body to the limit to get the best, you know, abilities that they have their, to develop their training, to become the strongest, the fastest, and all of that. And this is natural. You know, there's the side effects really um, are the visibility of the suction cups. You know, if you have some patechia there, people are going to see it. You know, I have a picture of Gwyneth Paltrow from years ago on the red carpet in a backless dress, and she had cup marks. And I'm like, hey, I know what that is. Um, so it's been out there, but not a lot of people sport them, you know. Um, they're not going to show off their cup marks. And now that it's becoming more mainstream, more accessible to people, um, you know, finding that they're really, you know, if it's done properly um, like anything else, there really aren't any side effects. And it can push your body to, to the limits that you want safely. Great, great, great uh, lesson today. Dr. Valerie, what, um, what is the difference between uh, a stationary copying and moving copying? Oh, yes. There are different ways to, to apply cups, absolutely. Um, and there's, yeah, different ways to use treatments um, and to do treating with cupping. Um, you can, like... Place the suction cups on the skin and, um, you know, leave them there in one place. So say if somebody is having low back pain, I can put a couple of cups on the low back um, and leave them there. And then, you know, you leave them for a few minutes, maybe two, three, five minutes or more. And you look and you see, okay, there's some stagnation coming to the surface. Of course, it's working either way, but you know, there's some stagnation or maybe I don't see so much stagnation. But, you know, as an acupuncturist, I know that, well, you know, the, say the trapezius muscle of the back, it's a really large muscle. There's other muscles in the back. So say someone is having low back pain. Well, maybe, you know, it's connected to other parts of the body. Yes, of course it is. So, you know, by doing moving cups, you can also, you put the cup on, it's a little bit lighter pressure, perhaps, because you have to be able to move it. The first, at first you apply um, an oil of some sort. I use a traditional Chinese oil, oil, but there's many out there that you can choose. And you put it on, and that allows the cup to move or slide. So you put the suction cup on the skin, and then you can move it up, and you move it along the muscle fibers, and you can just you know cover large, large areas that way. So the benefit is you you can um, with less number of cups on the back, you can cover the whole back and do cup the whole back basically. Um, you can it feels really good. It's a little bit more like a massage feel to it. 
Um, and then the difference in how it looks afterward is that if you have a stationary cup, you're going to get the traditional looking cup mark, the circle of the cup and the petechiae, the minuscule little pinpoint bruises that come to the surface in the shape of a circle. Um, whereas moving cup, because it's moving the whole time, you can have a lot of petechiae that show up on all of that muscle group, the one muscle group that you're working on or the whole back, not in the shape of a circle. You know, and one thing that I like to tell people coming in is, you know, if someone's not had cupping before, I let them know, look, you're going to have a potential for this petechiae, this what could look like bruising, show up on your skin. So do you have a red carpet event tomorrow or are you going to the beach, right? Because it's Florida. We live 10 minutes from <laughs> Siesta Key Beach. Are you going to the beach tomorrow? Because we may not, you know, is this something? And if they're like, oh, yeah, I want everyone to see my cup marks. Okay. All right. That's that's a different story as long as you know, right? So I, I always make sure that people know ahead of time. There's, there could potentially be, because again, if there's stagnation, it will show up. If there's not stagnation, it won't show up. Um, and you never know until you get started. Um, and so for the moving cup, you can have a larger area that has this petechiae that show up or this bruising appearance on the skin. So, you know, if you're having a going to the beach tomorrow, um, maybe it's not the thing to do unless you're doing it to show them off. Which can happen to you. <laughs> yeah. So there's benefits to both. Wow. They both feel good. They both <laughs> do their job. Yeah. It's great to have you on Seku Radio, Dr. Valerie. This is Seku Radio. If you're just joining us, Southwest Florida, Sarasota, Bradenton, Palmetto, and the world. Today, our great guest is Dr. Valerie Daverio, who is instructing us about acupuncture and cupping. So we're on the subject of cupping. Dr. Valerie, what area of the body are treated with cupping? Yes, uh, that's a really good question. It's important to know. You need to understand cupping is really great for muscle groups and fascia and releasing of fascia. Um, so there are certain areas of the body that you don't do cupping. It's contraindicated. So, for instance, over blood vessels, large blood vessels, like, um, you know, so a lot of people say, oh, I have neck pain, my neck muscles are really tight and stiff. So, of course, if we, I have small, small cups for, you know, say the SCM or the muscles in the back of the neck, the upper lats and things, and trapezius muscle, but, you know, and, and smaller muscles or smaller cups for, like, smaller muscle groups. Um, but you never work over the carotid artery or any of the, like the brachial plexus. Um, yeah, underarms, right? Inner thighs, that type of thing where we have large vascular areas that you could create damage to, of course. Um, and of course, you always ask people before we start, do you have any bruising or bleeding disorders? Because um, you can, you know, there is going to, there could be potential again for petechiae. And um, you don't want to create any any damage to any blood vessels. Um, so the um, you know we can use it on muscle groups. Um, typical, really typical is back, shoulders, um, some of the upper arms. You can you can cup the arms. You can cup the legs. Um, any of the large muscle groups. You can do light cupping over the abdomen. Um, you know what's really interesting and kind of fun is, um, and there's a, it's kind of a craze right now, um, online you can even see videos about facial cupping, but you use tamales silicone little cups, and it's for anti-aging, and you can kind of puff up where you have fine lines and wrinkles, but you have to do it very gently, right. and you, you know, you can order these kits online yourself, and, um, you know, it's basically for anti-aging, so you can, you, you can cup a lot of areas of the body. The one thing is you need to be able to have access to the skin. So you can't cup the head um, because there's hair on it, you know, um, because you have to be able to create that suction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, this is a, such an interesting subject. 
Southwest Florida Sacred Radio, great guest, Dr. Valerie Daverio. We, unfortunately, we at the end of the show. Dr. Valerie, mm-hmm. can you give us a conclusion about popping? Uh, you have one minute, so we can uh, we can invite more people to come see you. Yeah, definitely. Well, cupping is is a lot of fun. It's something that um, you can come in and just get a cupping session, or you could do cupping and acupuncture. Um, but cupping is is really fun. It's very non invasive for those people who are scared to come in and get acupuncture their first time, never seen or having it done. Um, it's a great way for someone to come in, feel good, get rid of your muscle tension and your knots in your back, and and all that, and just feel really good and feel renewed. Feel like that weight of the world that's upon your shoulders is removed. And, you know, it also releases endorphins, so you feel good afterwards. And, and the sky is bluer, you know, and you have a good day. And then, you know, getting a better level of comfort, working that into potentially an acupuncture treatment to treat the whole body and some other underlying conditions. So... It's fabulous. People right. feel good, their pain is gone, and they're much more relaxed. Great. Thanks, Dr. Valerie. That was the end of our show today. Thank you so much for coming okay. to us.